What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to walk with you into the big bad land of Ubers. We're going to be using the same team that I've been using for my other games because I like the synergy of them, especially considering the specially defensive Palkia. I'm just having a little bit of an issue with the whole Yivatal thing, but hopefully we'll be able to solve that issue with the battle. Um, I don't know, I mean... I like Yivatal on the team better than Mega Lucario. What the fuck is going on here? Why is a Man, if you do this shit and you're watching my videos, please stop it because I just don't understand. He says, who do you want to battle first in the chat? The Rattata or the fucking Raticate? If I keep leaving these stupid games, my ranking is going to fall. So you know what? All right, fine. Let's just... Let's go on Mewtwo! Of course it's the fear strategy. Let's make you evolve. <laughs> and let's hit him with an R spear. It's super effective, we should be able to kill him, right? Of course, we all know how the fear strategy works. Now he's gonna hit me with a quick attack and he's thinking gonna kill me, but it's not gonna kill me. Your strategy, man. Why do people do this? In Ubers? Why do you do it in Ubers? Because, you know, it's funny, you don't see this kind of shit in OU, but in Ubers, this kind of shit runs around rampant, man. And it might just be because, you know, OU is a regulated zone, but you have to take into account that Ubers is the place where anything goes, you know? So there's no format, there's no rules, there's no, there's no structure whatsoever to the Ubu tier. It's just literally all the shit that was too broken for OU and everything else. So it's kind of a... Another fear strategy? Fear me also, that's his name. <laughs> oh man, he's not gonna be able to kill us with a quick attack at this point. So, whatever. Oh my goodness. Alright, we won! <laughs> we won! <laughs> oh man, our ranking went up to 1,043. Oh wait, no, no, this is the first uber battle that I've had with this, um, that's the first uber battle I had with this using it. So, let's look around a little bit more. Then again, I feel like we're just going to be shifting through the, the underbelly of the uber tier by going through all these horrible, abominative cesspool battles. Alright, this one looks like it's serious. No, no uber Pokemon, but it's serious, right? Why are you in ubers with no uber Pokemon? But then again, not that these guys are bad or anything, but I mean, it just seems like it's more practical to, you know, maybe use the Pokemon that this tier is specifically designed around. The fact that it's made for broken shit. Anyways, let's go in there with Thunderous. Just because we have that prankster, and we're going there with Hitmonlee, who could potentially... Hitmongay? <laughs> what kind of fucking name is that? <laughs> Hitmongay? Okay, uh... <laughs> Let's hit him with the fucking... Actually, let's go into Groudon. That's our physically defensive wall. We should be able to tank a hit from this guy. I've seen Hitmonlee do something crazy with like, you know... I think it's like a fighting gem and a reversal. Okay, he's gonna go for the fake out. Take that really well, and now we can hit him with the Earthquake. As a matter of fact, I kind of want to get up Stealth Rocks. Because Talonflame is a thing. You know, I, even though this team isn't uber at all, I'm still very conscious of the fact that I can get my shit pushed in by that talent frame, so... We, we, we don't like that. I don't know about you guys, I don't, I don't like my shit getting pushed in. So, let's go into Palkia, because we'll be able to absorb the fire more. Which he most likely is going to go for. Fair play is pretty obvious. He's going to go for a bulk up. Interesting. But, the Hydro Pump should still do a lot of damage to this guy. A flame charge. I don't know, man. This talent thing is really weird. He's lucky that the sun is up because maybe he won't get killed by the by the hydro pump right away. But then again, it's a hydro pump with Palkia, stab, and all that. It should be able to kill him at this range. Yeah, it'll kill him. It'll kill him. All right, so that was strange, but I mean, it looked somewhat interesting. I know that I knew for a fact that um, talent flame did get bulk up. You know, talent flame is Smogon's favorite bird, you know, so you got to be very conscious of the Pokemon, even if you don't use them yourself. But we got, uh, this, this guy, he's probably gonna rapid spin. If he does, we got this Hydro Pump. Oh, we're faster naturally, so, you know, this is fine. He doesn't get his rapid spin off, he dies from a Hydro Pump. We're all happy. Yeah, Palkia, especially defensive, 
it kind of reminds me of like my Gyarados in a way. It, it kind of functions in the same way, just without the phasing, but it's, I really like it. It's an interesting Pokemon. A lot of people usually use offensive based Palkias, but the defensive, especially the defensive ones, considering the typing of Palkia too, like it has one of the best typings in the game, in my opinion. Like what is, what is this weak against besides Freeze Dry and Dragon Moves? Nothing. We can go for a Spatial, but then again, yeah, let's go for a Spatial, let's see if we can take a Draco. Not gonna take a critical hit. I wonder if a regular one would have killed me at that range of HP. Probably, but I wanted to see if I could have lived it. Anyways, we got Yvitol now. I'm thinking a nice sucker punch to do a job. But then again, he most likely to switch, so we could possibly just go for an Oblivion Wing. It's gonna go for a Hone Claws. Interesting. The Oblivion Wing still takes him out. One thing I wish is that after you use a damaging move that restores your HP, it restores your HP after the life will recoil. That'd be really nice. But can't ever. Okay, so Darmanitan's in there. Let's see if Groudon can take two hits from this guy. And he's gonna go for a belly drum. I'm spur. Uh, okay, this isn't good. This is not the good. But wow, he still wasn't able to kill us with an earthquake, even though this is a Darmanitan. Why didn't you go for the flare blitz? This is this is why I'm I'm a bit concerned about the lower tier you know, in Uber because crazy shit like this goes on all the time and people act like it's okay. <laughs> this is not okay. You can't do this shit. <laughs> You need to actually think when you make moves. I'm criticizing people. I'm talking all this shit. I need to stop. Because, you know, there was a point where we were all not that good in this game. You know, there was a point where we all kind of struggled. But why would you go for the earthquake? <laughs> I just don't get it. Why didn't you just go for the flare blitz? Now the blue flare is going to miss. Like usual. Blue flare. Burn the fucking ferrothorn. Can you do that before we rush you? Can you do that for me? Okay. okay, so now the sun is gone, we pretty much lost our, our trump card here, but we still got, I mean, then again, it doesn't really even matter, the last two Pokemon are going to get totally destroyed by the blue flare. And then Hitmongay is the last one, but I am Choice Scarf, so we should be able to outspeed, and that'll be that, but he does have Fake Out, so. Man, I should probably sign into my other account and then level up with my regular ranking. Okay, I'll probably do that. Um, some fake out. That's, this, this should be it. I don't think he has any tricks up his sleeve. The blue flare totally kills him, that's fine. Um, like I've said, man, Reshiram with the Choice Scarf, and especially if you have it paired with Groudon, one of the best revenge killers you can have. Man. 